not DC fast charge your electric car? Well, that is the conclusion after a study done by the Austrian battery diagnostics company called Avilo that you shouldn't DC fast charge your electric car because the battery degradation will be much higher if you do that compared to doing AC charging at home. Well, today we're gonna jump a little bit into the results and we're gonna talk about what this actually means for you. And is the recommendation not to DC fast charge actually a recommendation that holds water? But if you do need to DC fast charge your electric car, I would highly recommend the charging app called Elton, who are also the sponsor of today's video. Elton works in Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Denmark, and will actually let you charge at almost all charge operators with one charging app. So listen to this guys, you download one app, register your payment card once, and then with the same interface, you can get access to almost all DC and AC public charters in all of these countries with one charging interface. It is super simple. You can also even filter out, you know, charging speed. You can actually filter out the chargers that won't let you charge with the app if you just need an overview of all the DC and AC public charters in all of these countries. It's pretty awesome. There's a link down below and I would highly recommend you guys to download it if you plan on going on a trip with your electric car. This study is quite interesting and it was done across 160 different electric vehicles where they measured the battery capacity when the car was new and then after 200,000 kilometers. So it's pretty interesting getting, you know, these many data points from the car was new until they had done 200,000 kilometers. And the findings are actually very, very interesting because it shows the cars that only did AC slow charging only had 10 percent battery degradation over 200,000 kilometers or about 125,000 miles. And that means 90% of the capacity, thus 90% of the range left after that time. For cars that did DC fast charging, only DC fast charging, the battery degradation was much, much higher at 27% versus 10%, but the difference, not too big, about 17% difference between cars that only AC charge and cars that only did DC fast charging. But that still means after 200,000 kilometers, if you only DC fast charge your electric car, you're still gonna have 73% of that battery capacity left. So just quick explanation, if you don't know what battery degradation is, Every time you charge your electric car, you're gonna lose a little bit of capacity. This means if you're doing it AC slow charging or DC fast charging, you're gonna have lower capacity after that charging session. But the battery degradation is higher with DC fast charging as I, as I said here. So there's no way around this. You're st every time you're gonna charge your car, you're going to have a little bit less capacity. But we're gonna talk about how we can reduce that uh, alongside this. But if we take, a Polestar 2, the 2023 model, long range single motor, which has a WLTP rate range of 654 kilometers. If you only AC slow charge your car after 200,000 kilometers, you're still gonna have 588.6 kilometers left. But if you only DC fast charge it, you're gonna have 477.4 kilometers left. So there's about 100 kilometers almost in difference from the car is new till doing 200,000 kilometers and only AC charging, and then another 100 kilometers if you only do DC fast charging. But what does all of this actually mean? Well, according to Avilo, their recommendation is to only DC fast charge when absolutely necessary. And I don't necessarily actually disagree with this point, though only doing it when it's absolutely necessary, I think may be a little bit too extreme because remember these results, guys, 90% capacity left after only AC slow charging and 73% capacity left after only DC fast charging over 200,000 kilometers. Depending on where you live and how much you drive, that's somewhere in between five to 10, maybe even 15 years of driving. And I'm not too considered when I'm buying a new electric car, like what's gonna be the battery degradation after 10 years? I don't have my cars that long. And most people who buy a new electric car today, you know, if they're buying it or leasing it, they're not gonna have it more than two to three to four or five years. So I wouldn't be too considerate about that unless you're thinking about having your car for 10 or 15 
or even 20 years, then that long-term maintenance and thinking about battery health in that way is something to be, well, a little bit more considerate about. But remember, there's actually only a 17% difference. So it's a lot less than what I thought. I thought maybe something like 50% only DC fast charging after 200,000 kilometers or 125,000 miles, but actually it being 73%, and that is only DC fast charging. I mean, if you do 10% DC fast charging and 90% AC fast charging, it's gonna be a lot less. It's gonna be closer to that 90% capacity left than it is going to be to that 73% capacity left. So if you're a person who has an AC charger at your workplace, at your home, and on a daily basis, you're only doing AC slow charging and you're using a DC fast charger when going on a long trip, I wouldn't change anything. There's nothing to consider because even if you do like 10% DC fast charging or 15 or 20% DC fast charging compared to AC slow charging, your capacity after 200,000 kilometers is still gonna be much closer to 90% than to that 73%. So I wouldn't change anything of my behavior at all. But what you also could do to mitigate as much degradation as possible, and this is both AC and DC charging, is don't charge above 80% because once that pack voltage, and that's what's happening when you're filling up your battery with juice, your pack voltage is climbing, right? The voltage in every cell is going from a low state to a higher state of voltage. And that's that higher state, that almost peak or maximum voltage in the cell, of course there is a, a top buffer there, that's more damaging to your degradation than the actual charging session. And it's much higher the closer to 100 percent you get so ac slow charging at home set the limit to 70 or 80 percent on a daily basis also dc fast charging if you don't absolutely have to go to 100 percent to get your to your destination or to the next charger just stop at 70 or 80 percent all in all i think this study is very very interesting and as we get more data more studies like this we can make better decisions and this is actually better results than earlier studies have showed uh, similar studies and what's interesting here is that does that mean that battery technology battery chemistry the BMS charging management and all of that is getting better as time passes well maybe there's probably another study to be made on that but if you're just using your car normally on a daily basis AC charging you're doing the occasional DC fast charging session I wouldn't worry too much. So guys, let me know what you think down below and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys later. Goodbye.